To properly understand General Stafford's makeup, you would have to go back to his ancestors. And that brings us to Tom Stafford's mother, who came to Oklahoma in a covered wagon. His mother was a teacher, grew up on the prairie of western Oklahoma. General Stafford's father was a dentist, came from the east, established his practice in western Oklahoma. You combine both mother and father, and the talent, the intelligence, and the courage, the pioneer spirit, that all came out in their son. He was an average type kid, ornery, but brilliant. Every afternoon as a little boy, four or five years old, I'd watch what I thought was a giant silver bird flying over, and that was a DC-3, and I'd look at it and look at it, and I said, I want to do that. At that time, why, we had a group of kids. We played football together. We wrestled together. We ran together, and we were called the SSS boys, the simple, sexy six. We had worlds of fun, worlds of fun. And I wanted to build a model airplane, a gas engine, move from a rubber-powered band up to a gas engine. My father could have come up with the money, even though it was very difficult times in the Depression. He says, no, you've got to go earn it. So I was out there snapping cotton. You know, had these pads on your knees, had this cotton sack, and the dirt was blowing my face. And I was determined, number one, I'm going to get out of this dust bowl. <laughs> And number two, I'm going to do something with my mind so I don't have to be using my physique, you know, to snap cotton. My father was dying of cancer, and he couldn't practice dentistry only on sporadic occasions. So, uh, you know, the family finances were in very sad shape. I knew I had to do something with my life. But somewhere along the line, he figured out he could maybe get an appointment to Annapolis. I had an offer to try out for football in uh, this little college in my hometown, Southwestern Oklahoma State Teachers College then. And uh, also then I had a chance to apply for and uh, compete for an appointment to the Naval Academy. Well, I'd always read about the Naval Academy and wanted to go there, so that was first choice I'd made it, and I got a principal appointment. He spent that summer just cramming constantly with Letha Spann, one of her teachers up here, and he finally got through it, but he had the, the determination to just stick to it and dig it out. Shortly after graduation from high school, his father died. This was devastating. So here was this young man who just lost his father. He knew his mother would be in mourning, and at a time when she needed him most, he had this commitment, and of course he had his mother's support, and he went off to the Naval Academy. 